Hello everyone, this is Jen Rhoda. Welcome to our very first Shogun 2 Total War campaign. So I am currently in the options menu. As you can see, uh, we're going to be playing on very high, but I may have changed some things, but we'll keep it at custom. Keep things optimized. Everything should be on ultra or very high. And direct X11, 1920 by 1080. Uh, graphics card is GTX 660. So, alright, we're going to leave here. Uh, the one thing that we'll do a little bit differently for this campaign is I'll be playing the um, Morning Sun mod, which is basically up here you can also take over Korea. So we're going to keep it a little bit interesting this time around. Um, instead of playing a regular uh, Shogun 2 campaign, we're going to add Korea part as part of it just to keep things interesting. I think right now I have about 392 uh, hours in this game so uh, may as well spice it up since I have played the campaign before. Alright so we're gonna play on on hard. I think that's a fair difficulty. Anything higher eh, you can do it but then it just gets to become a very long campaign. And we don't have a lot of time for that. Uh, as for the schedule or how we'll do this, um, I'm currently debating maybe once a day or once a week. We'll actually have to see how often I play. Today's will be the first session. And you guys have been asking, hey, Generota, you should play a campaign in Shogun 2. So here we go. That's what we're going to do. We're going to play a long campaign. Uh, not Domination. I have played Domination before and oh my goodness, it takes forever. So, let me talk a little bit about this mod first. Is uh, It does add Korea, and so Korea will have 40 provinces up here. But then it also adds a whole bunch of other provinces in between in Japan as well. So you notice that the density of provinces are well, really high. So, we're gonna play as the Oda clan, as it would seem fitting as I am General Oda. And so, we need to capture Shogun, capture and hold a hundred provinces including these very specific ones in more or less central uh, Japan. Okay, so complete by the end of your turn in December 1600. So be forewarned, I have not played this campaign in probably Actually, probably since this came out, uh, which was years ago. So, from his castle in Owari, the warlord Oda Nobuhide commands a clan with a formidable reputation. His Oda clan are masters of the strategy of using Ashigaru, common soldiers who are a growing part of Japanese warfare. The Oda can recruit better troops of this kind cheaper than anyone else. They are also a warlike folk and have even turned on each other in the past. Now, however, they are now they face. External threats, the Saito clan to the north, the Tokugawa and the Imagawa clans in the east. If they can beat these enemies, then an Oda Demyo may yet call himself Shogun and rule Japan. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna start the campaign and let's have some fun. I probably won't be doing too much editing in between the videos, um, just because this will be a very long campaign and I kind of want to get these out. I'm going to try and keep these between 20 to 30 minutes per episode. And yeah, that should be... I think that should be good. And sometimes it'll go over depending on the battles. We do have a 40 minute timer limit for each battle, so... Here we go! 15, this is Sengoku Jidai, the age of the country at war. For 200 years, the Ashikaga shoguns have ruled from Kyoto. Great splendor and power were theirs. Now, the overmighty clans no longer obey. The time has come for a new warlord to become Shogun! But 
But who will be victorious? Other lands have always provided for our people. Our enemies are many and envious. They threaten our borders and look for any weakness. Others may cover titles, but Ashigaru, common spearmen, are the bedrock of other might. All know us. The commanders of a thousand spears. It is an honor to lead such a man. Our generals are battle-scarred veterans of a righteous strength. Isha Mountain, the war god has awoken. Now is the time to defeat our enemies. All will bow to the other clan. We wait no longer. Destiny calls. We are the Oda. These are trying times for our clan. Not only are we at war on two fronts, but we are caught in the grips of civil strife. The infighting threatening to tear our clan apart from within. Our first priority, therefore, is to quell the unrest in our midst and unify under a single banner once more. When order has been restored, we can set about building up our strength and extending our influence into the neighboring provinces. Long have we coveted Mikawa province to the east, and the recent vassalage of the local Tokugawa lord to the Imagawa has made this no less appealing. Mikawa is fertile and boasts fine war horses, vital to the production of superior cavalry. Mino is of lesser strategic importance, but the Saito should prove less bothersome to overcome, as whilst the Daimyu is manipulative to say the least, his forces are far less capable than the combined might of the Imagawa and Tokugawa. While making war on the Third Front is ill-advised, neutral Ise province to the west is known for its strong religious tradition and provision of fine monks for service both on and off the battlefield. However, with power and influence will surely come the ire of Kyoto. And should the Shogun feel threatened, he will rally his subjects against us. In that event, we must be prepared to fend off all who would attack us, no matter from where that threat emerges. If the Shogun wishes to halt our expansion, let him come here and reckon with us himself. Alright, so that was the introduction of the Oda clan. And so we have a mission issued to unify the, the Oda. Yeah basically crush the rebellions in Owari and we will get plus 25% wealth generated by all buildings across our provinces. Perfect. So we're going to hit okay. To become shogun, military ruler of all Japan. Um, we must defeat the current shogunate, the Ashikaga clan. So we can make a bid for shogun when we conquer enough when we conquer enough uh, provinces more or less and then we take Kyoto. All right. So Let's get started. So there is finance. Alright, so looking thousand. We are trading with the Hashisuka or or what appears to be a swastika. And then we have the Shibata, which is so these two clans are supposedly our trade partners, so uh they are awfully close so, uh, so let's see if we have passage. Maybe not. But we are very friendly. We could either A. Destroy them. Take all of their stuff. Or if we keep them. 
because they're very friendly people. And we make some decisions as we go. I'll look at the sheep, the sheep bata because they're less friendly. Mm, let's see, dependable, ambitious, indifferent, and moderate. And then we have very friendly, very ambitious. Yeah, we can't really have ambitious peoples on that side. Yeah. Okay, so we're at war with the cool ET rebels. We're also at war with those dudes. Alright, so we got these guys. These guys. These guys. Alright, so we're gonna... Before I do that, I always forget this, but you can do many cool things, y'all. You can master the arts. I usually like to get this guy first. Uh, way of Chi, wow, it's five turns? Man, I don't remember it taking that long before, that was two turns. Alright, so we have our first battle. Uh... Oh yeah. Finding drop and player? No, I don't want to do that. Alright, going to assault. I do remember um, the drop in feature was a pretty neat idea when, when it came out because there was people playing, and just like, oh, you can join someone else's campaign and ruin whatever progress that they had before. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen here. As I don't think most people have the mod for this campaign. Uh, so our our base objective here is to really just conquer Japan, avoid realm divide, make lots of trade, and then from there we're going to hopefully unite all of Japan and conquer Korea as well. So that will be, so Korea will be like an end game situation. Uh, don't really need to listen to the speech. Uh, okay, so we have a very big hill over here. So I'm going to go yeah. over here. Oh, actually, I guess I can just go right here. Mm hmm. Go right here. Actually, I'll go right here. I don't know what these zones are. Oh, my reinforcements are coming here, though. Hmm. That changes things. Or does it? Eh, let's go there first. Ha ha! The enemy! The enemy is coming from over here. That is why I wanted to deploy here. It all makes sense. Alright, Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! My cavalry, I mean. Oh, mistake, mistake! Noob! Ah! Ah, we're okay. We didn't lose too much, no? In fact, I think we came out ahead. Charge into. Yeah. Spearman. Alright, so here got my Ashigaru taking out their general. Fantastic. And then we got these guys. Gonna have cavalry charge at those dudes. Get these guys shoot. A one round. And then gonna have them stuff. Whoops! Shot my own dude. Now these guys come from the back and hit those dudes. All right, so I think we killed off their general. I'm gonna reinforce. And then from here we're gonna have to shoot these guys from the back. That makes a lot of sense. That's what I'll do. 
Although, I might need the ammunition for taking said castle. So, oh jeez. No! What are you guys doing? Uh, are they getting shot from these? Oh, okay. They're not. I figured these guys would come from over there, but that's fine. And these guys are shattered. Alright, well... We're basically running along the edge. Alright, so let's get our men in position. Alright, so... Getting to this maneuver. I mean, I don't really need to get very much support this way. There's really no one shooting at them. Eh, yeah, there's those guys, but. Keep them down here for now. These guys out. Assemble the troops. And hopefully. Oh, this is gonna be a very long campaign, guys. Ah, the first battle. Might take a while. Let's see. 34 minutes. Okay. Get my men in position. And today is November 27th, so happy Thanksgiving. This video will probably come up several days after, but nonetheless, it is early morning, may as well start a brand new campaign until Thanksgiving dinner. It's gonna be good time! Good times. Alright, so, let's see. Oh, very nice, this guy decided to stand here. I like it. Now my guys can shoot him. I love how the archers have an arc. So shoot them over walls. Okay, so we're gonna launch ourselves. Get everyone in position. Alright. Let's do this. One guy will do that. Uh, you do have to note that when you're climbing walls, you will lose men from falling. They do have a knack for losing their grip as they're uh, going up the wall, so you need to be careful of that. When you decide to have your men climb walls, uh, of course, you know the shorter the wall, potentially the less cat, the fewer casualties that you have. But something to keep in mind. Uh, Samurai retainers are not too depleted. All right, need these guys to run. My guy will get destroyed. And uh, let's see. Fire, lots of fire. So here you can see the men taking the wall, throwing torches, shooting arrows. And these guys are like, whoa, what's going on? Oh snap! The enemy's on the walls! And then my dudes are stabbing. They're archers. And these guys are still not aware yet. Oh, and now they are aware that Odo clan has shown up. Take the wall! Alright, so now I'm gonna switch focus to shoot these guys over here. We're gonna change formation, and then we're gonna charge him. Moving now, moving now. 
send in reinforcements. All these guys are going in. I have them focus the samurai retainers as they are very difficult to kill. Ah, damn it. Oh well. No, we're. We lost our first um, group of men. I move my men closer. And we're going to focus down on. Their men over there. And I'm getting shot at by something. Or someone. Hard to tell. Uh oh. Music. Yeah, you yeah, know that. Alright, I need to rally. Well, I can inspire this guy. And then I'm going to rally to break their morale. I'm going to send in reinforcements in the form of Yari Samurai. And these guys are fighting to the death, as you can tell by the symbol of Dead Skulls. 81, getting very depleted. Alright, so, let's see. I'm gonna halt the archers now. Two of my men fight chance. And I'm just gonna have these guys finish them off. I think uh, we get pretty close. Oh, we just lost a few more men here. I just didn't want the extra friendly fire on my dudes. Two, yeah. All right. Sending these guys the extra added presence of a general. General makes these dudes fight a lot better. I'm gonna rally again. Just notice how the morale just went back up. And then these guys are now stuck. Come on, yes. And get these guys out of here. I like how everyone's just kind of in a weird funk over here. They're all just lined up. There we go. I was wondering what happened to all my men. Alright, so dismount. And attack. The general has shown up to the battlefield. Oh jeez, they just like stabbed that guy. Like 10 spears. And let's just enjoy some cinematic fighting as the Psycho Clan falls in our very first campaign battle in Shogun 2. And up, oh, there's one left here. Up, oh, oh wait, that was also one. And this guy's dead. And the victorious Buddha clansman sharing at the appropriate time. Very beautiful. Frost coats my body. Final suit of armor buried in silver. Japanese death bone. And that guy died in the snow. Alright, so. Deployed 1600, lost 431, 
And probably could have done a little better in that battle, but here are the unit stats. We didn't use a ton of Ashigaru, but I mean, it'll happen. So that was led by our our general. And we're just going to peacefully occupy this northern province. And we are going to send men out. Actually, uh, we didn't destroy the cycle thing, which is kind of a problem. Honestly. There are a lot of provinces here, which I'm not particularly excited about, I suppose. Because of all the realm divide and whatnot. Luckily, we can send this guy out. And so we have... Wait, what? Oh, jeez. Wait, what? Did only send him? Hold on. It's weird. I don't know why it does that. Did it actually do it? Four? Five? Oh, that's weird. I am very confused. Okay. Oh, I get it. It's because the other guys ran out of movement points, which is weird that didn't take the rest of his army. But you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. We're at the 27 mark. Eh, 26, 27 mark. And hopefully we'll probably wrap up this battle, and then we'll take a break and. Mm. It is the first episode. Maybe we'll do a little bit more after we fight this battle. So we're just going to start deployment very quickly and hope for the best. Uh, yeah, let's just start. It doesn't matter too much at this point. Alright, so the enemy is. Oh, the enemy is in shell. Iko Iki. So far away. Uh, let's see, general... Here. Oh, pineapples. Oh, this makes even more sense. Alright, so my, my theory earlier was completely wrong. This isn't even my army. This is, this is my uh, allied forces who are at peace with me. They're not actually allied, they're just at peace. This is the Swastika army. Okay. Now it all makes sense. I was wondering what was going on. So my so I didn't actually have a reinforcing army. Which is kinda sad, but yeah, no not. Alright, so we basically have the exact same unit composition. And so my arm, my, my ally is going to waste his men. So, I'm going to give him a hand. By not uh, sending my general to suicide. And he's charging with just his general. See, I was going to lure them down here, but. Uh, if that thing is null and void. Alright, so I'm gonna try and assist and save this guy. As he will be defeated very shortly. Okay, so now he's uh, handling that, I suppose is what you can call it. Hammer and anvil? Uh, I guess he's hammering, but uh. <laughs> Oh jeez, not a good time for that yet.
general is in grave danger, my lord! And of course this guy is the freaking army on the left flank. So now we're going to shoot for those guys. And then we're going to re-engage over there. Now we're going to flank the Bo Ashikaru. From the right flank. And call it a day. Alright, so we need to charge. We can't just sit there and watch as our ally potentially gets destroyed. Alright, so we caught them. Now we're going to rally. Oh, what? Oh, oh man. I thought that was our guy. I was like, what happened here? Why did you just leave us so quickly? Oh, wait, what happened here? Oh, they got... What? That is so weird. He, like, got behind my men somehow. In the midst of our form combat formations. Alright, so now we got cavalry duel over here. Wait, who? Who, who died? Was it my guy? Ah, oh, man, I totally missed what he said. Good here. Hopefully not my general. I think they're usually more epic about it. They're like, oh no! The savagery. Oh, we're losing decisively. So let's let's get at it. And we're gonna shoot their like cavalry. And have my men break. Break the charge, thank you very much. As these guys are shattered now, so... I'm gonna shoot those dudes down. Oh god, this is a bloodbath. Bloodbath, I see. Now we're gonna halt. And I would chase these guys down, but. And the battle is over. End battle. End battle. Alright, the arts of peace and the arts of war are like two chairs of a cart, which lacking one will have difficult tea in standing. Kuroda Nagamasa from 1568 to 1623. Alright, so we had identical uh, army counts and they are defeated. Oh, few battle details. Interestingly enough, you can only see your own casualties. You can't see your enemies. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's see. You can't see how many... Alright, oh, you see the pair killed. Deployed, kills. Oh, not bad. 90... Oh, wow, 90 kills. Not bad. Alright, so now we slashed that guy in half. And now he's dead on the ground. So, the Iko Iki have been defeated. Oh, man, they're just the rebel faction. Uh, oh, wait, actually, that is the Iko Iki. Oh, did I know this? So, we crushed the rebellion. Now we get more money. Oh, they just happen to have the same flag. But we're technically at peace with them. Okay. So, rebels, rebels, rebels. We got that guy. Wasn't able to assist us because he was sitting over here. Now, can we return? No, we cannot. Uh. Alright, so plan management. So we are very obscure, just really good at the beginning, that's kinda what you want. Alright, so we can upgrade our roads to make things more awesome. 
We're going to repair that, and we can also build some new stuff. So, what are we going to build? Well, hmm, good question. Let's, see. Uh, let's build, what can we afford? We can build an archery dodo, which could be very useful. Or we could build a sake den. That's what I'm going to do. I'll build that. And then I am going to... Actually, yeah, I should upgrade. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade this, improve the irrigation, that will be proved most useful for the future. Currently have an army of four units. Uh, I think there might be an enemy around here. Now, let's check our diplomacy. Um, I don't know if the side tour is still around, but so I just want to check here. I guess they're gone now. And you see how <laughs> there's so many provinces in this, it's ridiculous. It's good to have a lot of allies. Um, I, I, I would not look so. Okay, so. My strategy here would be to defeat Tokugawa and the, and the Imagawa down in the south. These guys, Akichi, they are weak. So it might make sense to get rid of some of these guys that are in kind of like in my territory and basically uh, in this like small province that I think it would make sense to take care of. Even though they're peaceful with us, they do have, they will probably betray us in the future so we want to secure a foothold more or less uh, within our uh, capital. So we are also at war with Ashitana. Oh, where are they? Yeah, it's, there's so many things around here. So many uh, settlements. But, that is fine. The SI are up more. Who are these guys? Uh, trade partner? That was a pretty far. An so. unexpected meeting may, with hindsight, turn out. Make a trade agreement there. So, we want to trade with people that are. Fairly far enough that we'll be like, okay. Okay, so it's really tough to tell where I am. Okay, I am right here. And I made a terrible trade with you just now. I'm going to yes. Let's trade with these. Last so they are right above me, actually. I'm right here. Right? Okay, that's not too bad. They're not that far enough. Uh, so they'll probably secure our northern province. Okay. Actually, good. So we're right here in the middle. Remember that. For the future. And trade with random people. And the thing is, when you stop trading with other people, it's not gonna be a good time. And there are what? Tons of dudes. The Lee are fairly far away. The Iki are. Not that far away. Hostile. Shida. It's weak. Weak, I say. Kiso is far enough away, I think. Kiso's over there. Well, here. Okay, so that's to the right. Kiso. Like a trade of yours. Yes. Right. Well then. Hmm. Where's the key so oh, Kisa, Kisa, Kisa. Kisa. Where are you guys? Eh. Make a trade agreement. I will listen. What? You want trade? Oh, how about you guys? Welcome. I'm here to listen. And to seek a worthy outcome to yeah, our discussion. I will offer you one ninety nine. Huh, interesting. Well, I guess that's all the trade we'll be getting. So, researching mastery of the arts, finance is to you. Uh, I should I should probably figure out how to do this properly. I haven't played this game so long. I don't remember. Okay, Asakura, Shibata, and then something. And we do, do we have a vassal? Oh, we do have a vassal. 
Oh, there we go. Now we can't trade these guys. We will betray these dudes, though. Uh, family and console, no Kiside, no Bunaga. Not quite of age yet. No Oda, no Yuki. Two generals under me at the moment. Their loyalty is unwavering. And they both have uh, spots or commissions. And I just want to check one last thing before we go. And that is how do you check for vassals? Oh, there we go, that's how you check for vassals. These guys, indifferent. Alright, okay, so I would like to thank you for watching the first episode of this Let's Play. And I hope to see you next time. Our hidden units have been discovered, my lord!